girl crouching over a body. I'd already decided it was going to be my last night in Max's village. I was sorry to be leaving, but I was restless again. Beware! The day grows dark, and demons stalk the gap by night. Harsh old woman, stop your superstitious nonsense. Besides, this is the best time of day for fishing, eh, Milo? Yes, Dad. Look, Foster, I use these broken sensors to make a fish alarm. It detects the fish before it bites. Nice work, Milo. Milo was just like me as a boy and the tech skills I'd taught him would help the village after I left. Do you really have to go, Foster? How can we ever pay you back for all you've done? It's been my pleasure, Max. One of Anita's pies will be payment enough. I owed the Gap folk so much. My first tribe fostered me when I was orphaned all those years ago. They taught me how to recycle tech scavenged from city dumps. Soon, I even built myself a playmate. I'm your friend. Call me Joe. Joey. <laughs> Joey and I were always together. As I grew, I upgraded him. He became the best friend I ever had. But then... Foster! Foster, wake up! The sensors detect a fish! It's a big one! What the? It was no fish. Max, keep back! Bolo! Dad! What are they? Max! Help him, you... Dad! Foster! Help me! Help me! Milo had gone, the machine too, but its riders had left something behind. Max? Milo? What's happened, Foster? Where's my son? Max? Max? Oh, no! I told them! I told them there were demons stalking in the dark! The stalker that attacked us was a machine, not a demon. Please, Foster, I don't understand. What... what happened? I told Anita everything I could, though I knew very little. Max was barely conscious. I could only hope that with Anita's loving care, he would recover. As for me, I had to follow Milo and his captors immediately. I'll bring Milo home, Anita. I promise. Thank you, Foster. I know you will. Dawn was breaking as I left the village. The featureless wastes of the gap stretched away from me. Night followed day, then day dawned once more. Time lost meaning as the tracks beckoned me ever forward. Determination had long replaced sadness. Whatever it took, I would find Milo. The tracks were barely visible now, blurred by the wind. But I was sure I'd reach their destination soon. Then I saw the thing I feared the most approaching. Sandstorm. I battled forward, but now could only guess that my direction was correct. I decided to save my energy and sank into an exhausted sleep. Maybe the old woman was right. Maybe demons did stalk the gap. For as it shrieked and thundered around me, the storm brought back my nightmare once more. Union City security was attacking. As my tribe screamed in terror, I salvaged Joey's motherboard. Taken captive, I couldn't save my village. But 
I survived when the security copter crashed entering Union City. On the run, I soon got Joey working. Upgraded yet again, he helped me overthrow the evil that ran the city. As I left, I told him to make the citizens happy. Union City was no place for me. I wanted to be where I could do most good, helping the scattered people of the Gap. I woke to find the storm had passed. But not without finishing its cruel work. The tracks were gone. I was lost, and so, I feared, was Milo. Then, I heard them. Gang-gang birds. Scavengers. And in this wasteland, that meant only one thing. People. Despair turned to hope. I was sure that if I could find where the stalker had gone, I would find Milo. Then, in the distance, I saw a girl crouching over a body. <laughs> 